Kaba hydrating himself, making sure he's ready for the grand finals, wants to be nice and spiffy, ready for combat. Of course. Yeah, he is looking focused, man. Kaba is one of those players, man, that he's super cool, very nice. But when it when it comes to being in the hot seat, he's stone cold, man. Right now, he's locking oh, in. Honestly, it's such a good thing to see in a competitor because when you get to see how they are, just as a person, like yep. as they are as a part of the community. Yep. It's like there's a there's a person behind that demon that's rocking everyone in bracket. I promise, they're not a robot. Yeah, very cool to see how he's consistently able to play at this level. Wants to keep showing that Guile is a force to be reckoned with in season two as he was in season one. A couple of other characters are trying to move into that seat. You got Akuma in the mix now. You got Bison in the mix. But Guile is still rocking in there, man. And you know, Haba is a uh, Guile faithful to the end. Nice soul back kick right there. Ooh, okay. Immediately going into the OD flash kick as soon as he saw green. We saw him do that a lot during Capcom Cup. Uh, all right, and just as I predicted, wow. Shine going with the Kimberly. And the Kimberly proving very strong immediately. Yeah, and you know, the Kimberly didn't look too bad the, 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 uh, in, the last time, in the last set. It was, it was a very close competitive set. So it's just definitely have some adjustments that he has to make. But I think playing with a bit of fire from previous sets it might just be what Shine needs in order to push Kaba to the limit. All right, let's see if he's going to look for that slide again. There it is again, <laughs> once again. That's the Kaba Spencer. The moment he sees green, he's letting that OD flash kick rip. It's like you read the script ahead of time, man. Yeah, I've seen this movie a couple of times. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be, like, if Shine will try to do, like, maybe tap parry without the drive rush, just to try to maybe bait it out from a distance, because you have to check, is he, is he actually reacting to the rush or just colors, you know? He's got a little bit of wiggle room here as far as, like, the set, All especially right. if you bring us into a reset finals. And nice. They only had to spend the level one right there. Shine puts himself on the board. One round apiece. All right. Wow. Wow. He was still in three, with throw range right there, huh? Yeah. No, kahu has been doing such a good job of staying proactive in that spacing, where he still wants to make sure that he has his options to react, but is not giving Shine any opportunity to be able to just rush in from a distance All like right. we've seen him successfully do. Yeah. Oh, the drop. Oh, I think I, I think Shine wanted the corner there. He's got a little bit of an accidental side switch, but... Travis, he still might get the corner at this rate. Yeah, he's definitely going to get the burnout, which is really what he needs. Yep. And no meter there for... for Kaba. Kaba, Shine puts himself in the first game. Definitely thought ahead when he uh, went for the level 3 punish there. Yeah, no, that was... At surgical precision. Yeah, and good awareness right there from Kaba that he was he had the presence of mind to challenge on the reset. Not something that you see too often. At the end of the day, you gotta remember, like it's still guile. Alright, but that corners himself. Let's see how what Shine is able to do with this. Alright, and Kaba a little bit hesitant right there to go for a flash kick. I think the, the angle was a little bit off. Yeah, Shine has just been doing a really good job of, even though like not pressing too hard, like still jailing yeah. Kaba from being able to properly find his footing. But hey, he's gonna find his damage with that one. All right, Shine. And finds the round, in fact. Yeah, went for a little bit of a desperation slide there. Just wanted to get any kind of knockdown that he could. His options were very limited. Nice check with the jab right there. Got the counter hit, able to get a full confirm. Nice, perfect parry. Getting big damage out of it, too. All right, jacking up that drive bar. Are we going to see a OD flash kick? Ooh. Oh, a drop, a rare drop. And Kaba happened to just go. He know that he wasn't going to get a big combo, so he just said, you know what? Let me take out all your bar. A very bold pull from Shine. All right. And 
Sunshine did get his drive back. But Kaba is on a fully loaded gun. And you know he's ready to use it. Yes, sir. Critical Art waiting those wings. All right, working on that comeback right now. He's hearing the, the, the OG God music in his head. The <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Not going to kill, but put him, he's going to put him very close. Yup. Yep. Oh! Shite still back. That wasn't a combo. His way in. That didn't combo right there, but you know what? We take those. Hey, listen, it's a messy end to the round, but it, it's still. Yep. It's not always going to be clean, man. You got to take what you can get. Especially when you're sitting brands. Oh, okay. All right, we haven't seen an OD flash kick in a while. It could be a matter of Kaba trying to save it for later rounds, but at the same time... Oh, there it is. He hasn't been in a good position to use it. I was just going to talk about how well Shine has been able to time his aggression. And this, this offense has been relentless. And this is definitely going to take this. Shine working his way back to get the reset. Wants to take the throne away from Kaba for ETN. Up 2-0 right now in the first set of Grand Finals. Again, the finds the opening with the crouching jab. Fantastic damage out the gate once again. Oh wow, a little bit of a fuzzy block right there. He got hit standing on that overhead. Probably tried to back that to jump away. Wow, the deep jump in right there. Yeah, and big damage from it. All right, just have to go for a regular throw. And there it is right there. Get off me. You know, regardless of the flesh kick being able to give Kaba some room to breathe, though, Shine's still pressing forward. And he hasn't stopped pressing forward. And it's just like you said, Kaba was saving that OD flash kick for those rare moments in the end where he's going to need it. But now he's representing it again a lot more. Got to put it back on the board. Because Shine's getting a little frisky. He's playing kind of funny. And it's working really well for him. Kaba got to remind him that he's the one sitting in winner's side. Yep. And Kaba has been doing a good job of pressing a delayed cross jab, which beats the late throw and shimmy. Even if he doesn't get a combo from it, he gets the space that he needs to reset. Yeah, and I feel like that spacing is like the key with this matchup. Because Shine has been doing an excellent job of finding these pins and being able to have plenty of options for when you get that rare opportunity to the die off. Oh, but burned himself out in a tough spot. Wasn't much he could do there. Cash in and take it. Yeah, that was one of those situations where even though you know the drive impact is coming, it's hard to react to when exactly it's gonna do it. So sometimes you're kind of caught like a deer in headlights. Yeah. And right there we saw Shine, he, he was sitting on full bar, but he still got hit with the drive impact. Uh, he did find the cross jab there, but a little bit too far to convert from it. You give Kava oh. an inch, he's gonna take a mile though. Finally putting a number up on the board for Grand Finals and Playing with a little bit more gusto, I feel. Wow, interesting exchange right there. Dominican energy. Dominicans are going wild to the crowd. Got to solve it. Got a lot of the roots. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> they always come here to play, and they're going to make themselves heard. But don't count Shine out just yet. All right. Nice low right there. Catches him trying to walk back. Oh, with a far shimmy right there. Oh, so smart. Yeah, but Kaba does have to be careful. He doesn't have meter anymore. If he gets cornered, it could be bad. I mean, we're slowly moving our way there, oh, but he finds like his that. hit. He's going to find the round because of it. Now, but we're going to a game five in Grands. And if you showed me those first two games alone, I would not believe you. Yeah, and Kaba trying to put himself in a position to take it. 
making the big plays right now. Not afraid to wake up with a level three. The Dominicans are super hype in the crowd right now. Oh, yeah, the energy behind us and around us is electric tonight. Oh, costume switch from Shine. All right, well, we see the counter hit right there. Kaba trying to press buttons. And there's the OD flash kick again. We're starting Not to see it a lot more now. In the latter half of this set, it's coming out clean. All right, and Shine has to recognize when he has that down charge, because we see what, what, what Kaba does every time he has a charge. He sees green, he's going to do his own OD. Nice elbow drop right there to get away from the anti-air. I like oh. that. Lead out the options. That way you can find a proper punish. Yep. And uh, Kaba just waking up with all types of options. Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh -oh. Not with that spacing. Rare execution mistake from Shine. I don't know what he tried. And Kaba one round away from taking the tournament and going for back-to-back -back championships. Right into the flash kick. You hear the Uno Mas chance. That belt might be going back on home to the DR. Probably nice, got anything to say about nice it. Nice drive reversal right there just to keep him in the corner. But Shine not out of it yet. No anti air from Cabo. Okay. No, he's playing it low and slow. And yeah. Playing it low and slow is what's really gotten us to this position. Yeah, he well, didn't, do, didn't, didn't do the OD flash, but finds the jab. Working on a big lead right now. Starting to pull away. Oh, Robert, it's big damage. Hey, gonna get a save jump from this. Oh, and they're shooting oh, back so he can oh. find the hit and find the round. Probably the back to back, the best of North champion. The crowd is going wild. Shout out to Kaba, showing why he was the champion last year. With the nasty shimmy in the end right there. Oh. <laughs> Hadn't done that one all set. Saved it for the end. Absolutely phenomenal performance. Just excellently executed all the way around. And honestly, the, the factor that I want to highlight the most is just the reserve. The fact that Kaba was able to, he had all the right options, and we knew he had all the right options because yep. we saw all the right options in winner's finals. But we didn't immediately see them throughout brands. And I feel like because he held those in the back pocket, Shine was able to really run away with a lot of the early momentum. Not that Kaba wasn't putting up a good fight, but he was still saving a lot of those golden tools for when he needed it most. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the tales of this of this grand finals is just in terms of matchup, in terms of what Kimberly brings to the table in a grand final set versus Guile, because Kimberly has to open you up so many times. It's just more chances for Kaba to make those decisions like, oh, I'm going to wake up OD flash kick this time. I'm going to wake up down jab this time. He has so many more times to cycle his options, whereas another character might have just ended it in maybe like two or three openings. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, there was a bunch of situations throughout that entire set where we saw Kaba survive with just a sliver of health. Yep. You know, maybe not a pixel, but like just a little bit of drive, you know, just a little bit of health yep. and just enough space. And if you give all three of those tools to Guile, he can work with oh, just a little bit yep. and make magic happen. Sometimes that's all he needs. And especially in the hands of a pilot like Kaba, you know, definitely one of the Guile masters, one of the strongest Guile players of the world. Yep. Um, shout outs to Shine for, you know, bringing it close. He took him down to the wire, but Kaba just looking too strong, man. This is his, uh, this is his tournament, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> he makes so. New York his home, whether his, his home is over in the boroughs or here on Long Island. Wherever Defend the North goes, he defends. Yeah. So, excellent top eight. We saw a really good mix of characters, players. We saw Aki. We saw Ryu. We saw Zangief from a Smash player. Yep. Um, had a really cool set against Idom. We saw Manon. We saw JP, a Blanca. I think it was like different character for there was no pretty much repeat characters for any of the I didn't players. see any mirror maps. Yeah. And uh, characters that just generally don't get a lot of representations. Yeah. And it's just a testament to where the balance is in this game right now. Of course every fighting game will have your top tiers, mid tiers and lows, but right. you know, you have characters that have these broad set of tools and you could just, you know, depending on the matchup, depending on the player that you're going up against, you could switch it up really nicely and uh Yeah, honestly like when we look at a tier list nowadays, you have to remember that the gap between the best character and the worst character is so much more smaller than it was in older games. Yeah. Like you can take a character like 
Let's look at Kimberly, for instance. She's not regarded in the best of light compared to certain characters in yep. SF6, but she's got really good tools. And if you master those tools, it's on your opponent to prove why she's lower on the tier list. Absolutely. Absolutely. But uh, Kaba having no... Not wanting to deal with that whatsoever. The, yep. As we saw him, you know, doing the stuff that he that he brought out during Capcom Cup, the minute he sees green, he's ready, like, with the itchy finger on the trigger. Immediate Listen. OD flash kick, just neutralizing, uh, you know, one of the most uncomfortable things about in FS6 when you have to take the drive rush jab or the drive rush grab. And he just, like, makes that something that now is not a tool that's available to you anymore. Yeah, Guile is a behemoth. Yeah, like, regardless of the play style, like you have to master the matchup so that you can at least adjust yourself to understanding. All right, well they're going to be a little bit more aggressive. They're going to be a little bit more passive. They like using this tool more. They like using that tool less. Yeah, like you got to fine tune it. But before you have anything to fine tune, you have to perfectly understand what you're doing with your character against Guile. All right, so we are going to move the camera over so that we can see some medals presented. Coming in seventh. Tied for seventh place, but he's not here right now. Is apparently the best Luigi playing Zangief. Guy, guy. For fifth place, the Blanca extraordinaire, Picoro. And we just seen, out of nowhere, the craziest Aki play. Give it up for Umali. I, you can't jump on him, and I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting choked up for this one. In fourth place, you can't jump on him. The Ryu extraordinaire, Ding! And in third place, dual maining out here, playing both Manon and JP, we have I'd, oh, and the champion of Ultimate Marvel, Idom. I mean, and, and Guilty Gear. My God, he's a champion of too many things. And our Street Fighter Six runner-up, the second place. Winner tonight. Give it up for Shine. Right here. No, this is you right here. Your Street Fighter Six champion. Guile. Extraordinaire. Please, everyone from the Dominican Republic, give it up. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. The hype. Hold on. Wait a minute now. Give it up. Four. <laughs> we got Kaba. One more time, you guys, for these eight competitors. Give it up for Defend the North. Top A, Street Fighter Six. Put it on them. Here we go. This has been Defend the North X, Defend the North 10. Give it up for Street Fighter 6, y'all. Yeah. All right, folks, you saw the winners get their medals. Back to you watched that top eight with us. That's a big piece that Kaba has oh, in his yeah. chest right there, man. That is a nice trophy right there, You're going to hear him walking out of the venue. Yeah, you don't see him first. Yeah, he's clinking and clanking his way home with that one, man, with a cheese smile on his face and all that. Hey, hearing that medal, hearing that smile. So once again, congratulations to both Kaba as well as all of our top eight competitors tonight. Thank you so much for joining us for the rest of Street Fighter VI at Defend the North X. I'm Hangman, joined by Javits, and it's been an honor tonight. Yeah, it's to been my pleasure, home. man. So... Have a good night, everybody. From Long Island, New York, take care. Peace.